Morning folks, I'm in East Lothian today, beautiful spring day, Stand, standing beside this current here, uh, full flower. So we've got a wee coastal hike today, not too far, maybe, well actually it is quite far, it's probably about 20k, but it doesn't seem very far because um, we hike point to point and then uh, have a rest, maybe stop for a cup of coffee and then turn around and come back again, so it's uh, a hike of two parts you could say. So I'm going to wind my way down through the sea buckthorn, across the sand dunes, down to the coast, turn east and then head out along the coastline. Let's go! plant here with the pale orange berries is called sea buckthorn. The scientific name is Hippophyramnoides and it's quite interesting its distribution through the world. I've collected specimens of this in the Himalaya, almost identical. The one in the Himalaya is called Salicifolia. That just means it's got uh, long linear leaves like a willow tree. Um, so it grows thousands of miles from the, the sea in the high Himalayan plateaus and then it grows here in Scotland right on the, the coast and these faded orange berries are the berries that were produced at the end of last year and they've overwintered and you can see that they're not predated by birds the birds don't seem to be interested in them at all quite bitter I think um, so they'll uh, just gradually drop off and uh, the leaves are just coming and uh, there are one or two of them producing flowers so it will produce a crop of berries for this year. Yeah. Sea buckthorn. on the beach. Alright. Coming out along the coast this way. It's going to be a gorgeous day. Lovely to be here. I've got quite a long way to go though. Still 8 kilometers or more. So better keep going. I love the west coast, where the mountains meet the sea. But the east coast of Scotland has got its gems as well, and this is a beautiful bit of coastline. It's not at all remote, it's quite easy to get to, I suppose, in certain 
times of the year it can be quite busy, but there's hot spots and then there's bits like this where you seldom see a soul. Just love these stunted little Scots pines, kept dwarfed by the light sandy soil and uh, the coastal winds that come hammering across here, especially in the winter time. Beautiful. A bonny tree. Pines, the conifers in Scotland that uh, give winter cheer. In the dark days of winter you've still got some green around but at this time of the year it's nice to spot the new leaves coming out on the broadleaf trees. We've got a wee strip of woodland to cross in about another kilometre or so. It'll be interesting to see if uh, any of the sycamores are producing their leaves yet. Does anybody else do that? Look for the first leaves of spring. In my garden at home it's always the honeysuckle that produces the leaves first and then uh, on some of the woodland walks that I do close to my home the elderberries produce leaves quite early on closely followed by the sycamores. Let's hike along a bit and see if there's any leaves. Plenty of leaves on the elderberries, but uh, nothing on the trees yet. Still a wee bit early. There's a sycamore bud there. The camera focus on that. Still quite tight closed, so a wee while yet. Good to see the elderberry leaves though. Spring has arrived at last. <laughs> 